thanks for joining me today today I am going to do a quick lip look for you this is a lipstick custom lipstick look that I created this morning after I did my makeup and I was rushing off to work while my husband was driving I quickly took a picture of my face look um, sent it up to Instagram and over the course of the day I got about eight maybe nine request to recreate the lip look. Um, this lip look you could do with any two lipsticks. You can recreate a custom color for yourself or you can create a custom color for yourself. What I did was I used two of the colors I love the most. I love the color Gorgeous by Kaor. This is it right here. This kind of pinkish purple lipstick. I used that this morning and I used the infamous Ruby Woo. I love Ruby Wool's color. I love the matte look. The only thing, this just steals the moisture from my lips. My lips are usually very dry and maybe a little cracked towards the end of a few days after wearing this. So I wanted to wear this. I wanted a semi-matte look today. I did achieve that. I used a Ruby Wool. I lined my lips with the NYX pencil in deep purple. I mistakenly called this pencil purple. So if you already went out and bought this pencil, I, it'll still work. It's just a little bit deeper, not much. So I'm going to recreate this look for you. Um, this is very quick. It's, it's just really quick, guys. Um, I, leave out, I left out all the details where I do a lot of fancy work with lining my, um, outlining my mouth with concealer. Honest and truthfully, I don't usually do that, so I'm not doing that in this video. I know a lot of people like that. That's not what I do, so this is my makeup look. Um, and you'll see my technique on how to clean up the outside of my lip once I apply a beautiful deep color like this, kind of like burgundy color. I wanted it to match my headband because I wore black and white today and I wanted to have a pop of color. So I used the headband and my lipstick. This basically, this eye look is what I wore today. All I did was just freshen up the look. I didn't change anything. I didn't add any color or any more makeup than um, I had on earlier today. So if you are interested in how I achieve this wonderful look, just stay tuned and I'll show you how. Okay, so I'm going to start. So what you want to do to make sure your lips are nice and smooth, just make sure you start off maybe with a little Vaseline. You may want to moisturize because like I said before the Ruby Wool lipstick is extremely drying especially for my lips but if you have a lot of cracked skin or chapped skin on your on your lips you don't want to kind of peel it away I see a lot of people doing that or they're doing something like this where they're kind of just like peeling I know you know sometimes we can't help doing it I think that's a natural reaction to peel it away you know with your finger or maybe just using your teeth to kind of pull at it but you want to make sure that that skin is really soft before you remove it and you can always use a light sugar and lemon honey kind of a mixture I have a video on how to remove the dead skin from your lip before you apply your lipsticks I'll leave that link below I made that video a couple of years ago so but it's still relevant that information still works today so Without having to go through doing that, I'll just list, I'll leave the link below. You just check that video out. Okay, so after your lips are nice and smooth, you may want to just moisturize them a little bit with some good old Vaseline. And I usually just take my finger, because this is my personal jar, and uh, I'll just apply it to my lips just a little bit. And you'll want to do this maybe like when you're in the shower so that it can really like moisturize your lips and um, kind of soak in and just you know make your lips nice and smooth. After that you'll want to take just a clean towel or a clean when I say towel I mean paper towel or tissue and you want to blot away the excess. Next thing I'm going to do is to line my lips because that's what I did this morning when I did the look. I, this wasn't like a really in-depth look I was doing. I did something really quick because I wanted something just to kind of match my headband and to be honest guys I don't want to go out and buy nine different shades of burgundy. I don't need to do that. I want to create 
a burgundy using the colors that I had. So I'm going to start off with the lip pencil. This is an NYX lip pencil. This color is called Deep Purple. Deep Purple 08, I'm sorry, 808. And I think I mistakenly called this purple on Instagram, but this is Deep Purple. For me, it's easier to get a more precise lip line if I keep my lips closed. And then I'll take and put the cap back on the pencil and I'll use the bottom of the pencil to do this. Blend it out just a little bit. So after that, I took my lipstick by Kaor. This color is called Gorgeous. I don't think you can see the name anymore, but this is called Gorgeous. But it's a deep purple pinkish color. As you can see the hue of the purple coming through. I applied this first. Next, I applied Ruby Woo by MAC. And this is my Ruby Woo. And then I applied that over top. So I'm going to just go down again with this, taking what used to be the tip of the lipstick and taking it right to the edge. And then I'll go back in and clean up with either my finger or you can use a tissue that's wrapped around your finger. This is my real life, realistic look. It's not, not usually overdone and looked all glammed up. This lip look will last for hours. It usually lasts me about four hours. And I hope it looks like a deeper burgundy kind of ruby woo. It's really pretty. And it matches my headband. So guys, that's it. That's the look. Very, very easy, very quick. Again, I don't do all that stuff with the, um, the highlighter and the um, concealer around my mouth. I, and I, I'm not doing it with this. I wanted to just bring you what I usually do when I'm rushing in the morning. I usually have about an hour to an hour and a half to get dressed. And honestly, my time is not spent doing makeup in the mirror. I was trying to get things sorted out in the morning. But anyway, this is a quick look. And I threw on my hair. My hair is the La J wig by Vanessa. I love this. This is my favorite synthetic wig next to Miko. And this color is a number one. So guys, yeah, that's it. That's all I have for you today. Um, I want to thank the people who requested this look. So thank you so much for joining me. I do appreciate it. Take care and be well, and I'll see you at my next video. Bye-bye.